Moray Virabotai. It has come to my attention <laughs> through the media that there are many questions regarding part of an interview that was put on the YouTube. I never gave permission. The most important part was omitted. And from my perspective, the most important part was omitted because whenever I speak to Christian groups, I always make certain to emphasize the fundamental differences between Judaism and Christianity. The fact that we as Jews can never recognize Jesus as the Messiah or the Son of God. That anyone who does so is ipso facto not a Jew, loses all of his Jewish privileges. That God did not have one son, but every human being is a son, daughter of the divine, created in the divine image. But how did I get involved in Jewish-Christian dialogue altogether? And that harks back to the Second Intifada, where no one was coming to Efrat, not even my closest friends and closest supporters. For political reasons, for security reasons, but the evangelicals were coming. And they were showing tremendous support. And they were coming, and they asked me again and again to teach them Bible. And it's interesting that Maimonides claims that you're allowed to teach Bible to Christians because they accept the sanctity of the Bible. And they were very interested in studying the Jewish origins of the religion of Christianity. At the same time, changes were taking place within Christian theology. And more and more important Christian leaders were saying that the Jews have a special and separate relationship, covenantal relationship with God. That they need not convert. That they have a share in salvation as Jews. And so I felt it very important to strengthen the relationship between the Christian world and the Jewish world especially in terms of the great threat, the grave threat of Islamic fundamentalism, suicide bombings, that existentially threatens Israel, that threatens the entire free world. And we're very few. And Christian friendship could and should and must be very important to us. It was in this context and in response to Christian questions that I spoke about the place of Jesus from a Jewish perspective. And I think you understand, all of you, that there are really two Jesus figures. There's the Jesus of Christianity. And tragically, in his name, millions of Jews have been murdered through the generations. And I always mention this and every Christian audience to whom I mention this, ask forgiveness, show empathy and pain. But there is the Jewish Jesus who kept commitments to the Bible, to the Torah even as we understand it. And in strengthening the personality of the Jewish Jesus, one begins to understand in depth how Christianity emerged from Judaism truly, and that strengthens the connection. I think when I said Rabbi Jesus, in order to make this point so that a Christian could understand it, I used an unfortunate term. But that was the reason for my using it. Because I was speaking not of the Jesus of Christian history, but the historical Jesus who was a Jew and even a committed Jew. Mm -hmm. 
I believe, nevertheless, that dialogue with the Christian world is very significant. We share common belief in a God of love, in a God of compassion, in a God of peace. We're fighting a worldwide battle against an anti-God of jihadism and world domination. It's critical that we work together, but always being true to the philosophy of Judaism, to the traditions of Judaism, to the theology of Judaism, and never mask over the differences. I always attempt to do this. I pledge I will never again speak in a way that I can be taped and my words can be manipulated as they were in this particular instance.